I can smell perfume. There is definitely something trying to draw the energy out of the air here. Drop it. <laughs> Sweetie. Do not like this room one bit. <laughs> Fielding, and this week I've brought you to a historical site that has seen kings and many battles, but now has its fair share of ghosts. In this two-part investigation, Most Haunted will take on the might of Fort Paul, and tonight we'll be investigating the paranormal activity that wreaks havoc above ground. Fort Paul has a long history dating back to 1542, when the infamous King Henry VIII commissioned a defence for the Humber ports and the city of Kingston-upon-Hull. 100 years later, King Charles I constructed the second Fort Paul just prior to the outbreak of the English Civil War. During this war, considerable cannon fire damaged the structure. The fort was used as a training base between the two world wars and during World War II it was converted into a magazine serving the Russian convoys. A degaussing station was also added. In 1960 the fort was closed down but in 1964 the friends of Fort Paul took over the site and began to restore the fort as a museum. Over time, the fort has been added to and reshaped. It has seen battles and thousands of men and women have been a part of a British defence that has stood the test of time. Over the years, many people have experienced some strange occurrences at Fort Paul, many of which can't be explained. The ghost of an airman on the huge plane, the Blackburn Beverly. A lady wearing Victorian clothing has been seen in the old train carriage. Dark, sinister shapes and noises have been seen and heard from King Henry VIII's fort. Over the next two episodes, we will endeavour to capture some evidence of the paranormal activity that allegedly takes place at Fort Paul. This transport plane, called the Blackburn Beverly, sits majestically within the walls of Fort Paul. It was first built in 1954 and used in training exercises up and down the Humber. Ghostly footsteps, strange voices and the ghost of an airman has been seen walking throughout the whole of the plane. Who is he and why does he haunt? is a restaurant car of a British military train that would have done many runs from East to West Germany from 1945 right up until 1991. Now it would have carried many soldiers but also it carried a king. Not a monarch but the king of rock and roll. Allegedly Elvis Presley himself sat in this very carriage. But it's the ghost of a Victorian lady that I'm very keen to talk to. This truly is a mystery train. This is the Henry VIII Fort, one of the oldest parts of the building. It's a warren of pitch black tunnels which strikes fear into the most hardened of men. A sinister black mass has been seen rising up in front of visitors and blocking them from an early exit. Demonic voices and people have been grabbed by unseen hands. But who are these entities that reside in this dark, foreboding place? No stranger to Fort Paul is paranormal investigator Jenny Bryant, a woman who has experienced many strange occurrences that she considers paranormal. 
things that's happened here has been really terrifying. We've had one point where there was about six or seven of us in this room um, and a big black mass formed in the doorway. We literally had to walk through that black mass to get out of the room. It wouldn't shift no matter what we did. In the King Henry's tunnel, at one point we heard a noise. We heard like a shuffling noise. When we looked down the corridor, a black mass formed coming up from the ground um, and it actually ran at us and we all fell backwards. So there were about six or seven of us that witnessed that. Um, it's just an amazing place. Obviously people have seen spirits as in like army soldiers, um, airmen, so I'm assuming it's probably them that we're seeing in these tunnels and in these vault areas. In the Blackburn Beverly, we've heard footsteps, we've seen shadows moving about. One of the other team actually witnessed a pair of legs walking up the gangway towards the plane, which was a bit strange. Um, we've also had people being grabbed and touched in there, so it's a very interesting place. In the train area, one, at one point we were walking over to the, uh, to the train and there was a lady figure actually looking out of the window as we walked towards it. There was nobody in there, we went in, absolutely no team, no public, so something else we couldn't explain. The best places for paranormal activity tonight, I would actually say, is this area here, the vault area, the Beverly Plain, and the train area as well. When the darkness falls, you know, it's pretty scary. I think you're in for an interesting night. Our ever-present sceptic Glen Hunt was on hand to gently remind me to calm down when things get a little scary. With so many ghostly sightings in different buildings and modes of transport, I was keen to get his thoughts on our two-part investigation. Glen, great location, fantastic history, two investigations, one above ground, one below. What do you think to the place? Well, already it's quite atmospheric, isn't it? The whole site lends itself to the unusual, uh, the unexplained, and uh, it's, it's almost like dressed for the occasion, is it, I suppose? So already your mind's thinking, well, this looks like a war plane, so I'm expecting something unusual to happen. There's the, the caves to go underground in, and when that's dark, your mind's going to play all kinds of tricks on you. So ultimately, is the whole thing going to be a trick of the mind just because it looks the part? Now, already, um, you know, you've been on some investigations with us now. You've experienced some things that you can't explain. I mean, the knocking, for instance. I mean, we've already been uh, here earlier on today while we've been setting up and filming. We've already experienced some knocking noises. What do you make to that? It's clear it's some kind of energy. You know, you can't dismiss the fact it's happening, and it's not face I can honestly say hand on my heart that, that these things do genuinely happen and, and they move around the rooms as well the walls and the floors under your own feet as well There's, there is clearly an energy but just because we're hearing these noises it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be paranormal it could be just some kind of energy that science yet hasn't explored yet or you know understood and it's worthy of some kind of intensive investigation I suppose and this, of course, is going to be a mecca for Eamon, isn't it, with the EVP, because there's so many different sites. And again, already he's picked up on some voices that are coming through. What do you think he's going to experience tonight? Well, again, there's always the, the doubts with it being a radio system. Is, that, is there any way, somehow, there could be some kind of radio interference coming in anyway? That's how it works, ultimately. But the interesting thing about it is the interaction. Eamon can ask a question, and invariably, there's always an appropriate response. How that is happening, again, we'll have to wait and see. Now, for me, the tunnels are because you've already mentioned it's a dark, sinister place, but lots of people have reported this sort of um, uh, dark shadow coming up from the ground, very, very sinister. Stuart's already had something happen to him. He actually had a, a horrible uh, a voice in his ear, like laughing in his ear. Uh, he shot out, wasn't filming at the time. So things are already happening to us. And for me, that the, the tunnelling system, the Henry VIII Fort, is, is a place that already I'm like, oh gosh, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to go down there. But why is it so many people, visitors, people are reporting the same thing time after time. Well, obviously they're hearing the stories. Maybe, again, it's a perceptive thing. That's what they're expecting. They're going in. It feels enclosed around you as well, and ultimately you start to think that you're feeling the same thing as well as everybody else, perhaps. I'd be quite willing to go in there and see exactly if I felt the same way. On your own? Yeah. Sorry? Pardon? <laughs> Are you going to go on your own down in the tunnel? Yeah, I think I should give that a go, shouldn't I? I think you should. Yeah. That would be really great. What about the train as well? Again, the whole thing, and similar to the plane, it's a, it's a piece of history, but the train obviously goes back to 1945. There's a lot of history going on there. The ghost of a Victorian lady has been seen. I think, for me, anywhere that has a that's really old, 
you feel instantly if you sat in there, you feel a bit, I don't know, a bit, a bit creepy. Yeah, I, I'm not sure about that really because, as, as this Victorian lady said to have died on the train, was there a carriage? Was there some kind of incident? I can't understand how some kind of ghostly figure can attach itself to something like that when it doesn't have any overall connection. It doesn't make sense to me. Unless, of course, they're on the way to a fancy dress party and they died on the way there. Or maybe there's a connection with the ground that the train sat on. Possibly. Who knows? Mm. We'll have to wait and see. Overall, what are you going to be looking out for this evening? Uh, well, Victorian ladies on trains, strange knockings, EVP experiments, you know, that, that's fine. But uh, unusual, demonic, dark shadows in the, you know, in the underground elements, well, I'd be interested to see if that genuinely happens. Maybe we need Fred to go in there and summon it up. Because if anybody can, he can. Well, if you believe the stories, you won't need Fred for that. This unusual and historic site was intriguing us all. We couldn't wait to begin. So with us all assembled, we thought it best to walk around the various exhibits with the lights on. I love doing the investigations on old planes, and we've done a fair few, but this plane was built after the war. That's right. It was never even in any kind of active service. If anything, it was just used for, for training missions up and down the Humber. So I can't imagine how it has any connection with anything paranormal, essentially. So. Well, you say that. That's interesting. The stairs that we've just walked past there, yeah. that's where the ghost of an, uh, an RAF airman has been seen, actually coming down the stairs and stood at the bottom. So there's obviously some sort of connection, and I think there is a, uh, a very close connection with a gentleman um, who has had a lot to do with this plane, um, who passed away a couple of years ago, who may be coming back. You know? Well, he, yeah, he, he did a lot of missions abroad in the war. And then when, uh, in 1946, when the war was over, he was used as a reserve, and he actually flew this plane up and down the Humber doing training sessions. So that's, you know, there could be some sort of connection there. So that there are people that have worked on this plane that were in the war. Yeah. It doesn't have to necessarily been on this plane but on other planes and they've been to this fault uh, for various reasons. And of course there's another floor above this. This particular floor would have been with the, the, where the wireless operator would have been, so maybe this is a good place for Eamon to come a little bit oh, later on. Yeah. Let's mm. move on, because okay. there's more to see. Fantastic train carriage, beautiful. I absolutely love anything like this with history. But the ghost of a Victorian lady's been seen here, uh, just stood right at the very end. Allegedly, Elvis Presley himself would have come into this carriage and sat down and eaten, which I find absolutely fascinating. Amazing. But who is the Victorian lady? Why is she connected with this train? Of course, it's not a Victorian train. True, yeah. uh, it's a lot more modern than that, but let's not forget, like the airplane over the field, um, you know, it's out in the elements, it's exposed, it's a bit weathered, you know, you're bound to hear some rattles and creaks and groans as well with, with both of these things as well. It doesn't necessarily mean anything you hear tonight will be a paranormal event. What do you make, Fred, to this train? The Victorian lady, yeah, the rolling stock itself could have come from Victorian times. And plus, you had Victorian people here in Victorian times uh, to do with the fort. So it's not just a carriage, it's what used to be here, perhaps. Yeah, the ground yeah. Where, where we're actually sat on at the moment, right, which is really yeah. interesting. Well, when it goes dark in here, I think this whole train, it's quite cosy now, but it'll take on a completely different feel later on. Come on. Ah! <laughs> well, here we are in the vaults underground. To me, this is a really creepy place. I do not like it. I'm not looking forward to having all the lights off in here later on. A bit odd down there, yeah, it? it does. Well, that's it. Underground, very dark, dismal, damp. You can feel the damp in the air just by moving your arms around in it as well. It's very uncomfortable anyway, isn't it? Yeah, but what about the demonic presence, that dark shape that's been seen definitely, coming out of the ground? Definitely something here. You can, well, I can feel something here. Not very strong yet, but I think later on when I call it up, it'll get a bit stronger. And can you get rid of it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Really? I wouldn't call it up otherwise. Fantastic. Yeah. And why do you think something like this would be here? A lot of things have probably happened since, I mean, Henry VIII's times. You go back then, paganism, probably a lot of witchcraft around this area, especially near the water. Water is very good for that sort of thing. Very uh, makes it a lot stronger. 
and uh, also the amount of evil that was done down here torturing killing uh, soldiers would have in those days would have hung drawn and quartered people down here lots going on like that okay so, that, so you that, think that this demonic presence is maybe come from that time period I would have thought so definitely yeah. oh, I don't want to be down here when you do all of that come on, <laughs> come on. With so much ground to cover, we had to split into groups much sooner than usual. So with Glenn, Stuart and Darren in the Blackburn bomber, myself, Carl, Fred and Eamon took the train carriage. With our EVP equipment set up, we were ready to capture any phenomena. We're here in the train carriage. Eamon, what's been going on EVP? Well, it's been really active actually. There's been a lot coming through the two-way machine. Um, I went over before to the other building and uh, also got some singular EVPs which I've played back, so I'll play them later on. Uh, it's been very active on here though, so really? I think we're going to have a really active night. Do you want to turn it on now yeah. and see what we, if we can get any, any communication going? And then, um, Carl's on camera as well, we're just going to do, uh, do a, our first sort of vigil in the, in the train. Can you please tell me her name or can, if you're listening to me, can you introduce yourself? Did anyone hear anything then? No. Yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a laugh, like a like a like a woman's laugh. What's that? Listen to me, can you introduce yourself? Listen to me, can you introduce yourself? Listen to me, can you introduce yourself? Hello? What did you hear? It was a laugh. It was um, as if, um, when you said about the lady, it was it was like someone. <laughs> oh really? It was. It wasn't. It? it was like a playful. Yeah, it was uh, a disembodied voice. I mean, it was separate from the actual speakers because I actually, I didn't say anything, but I did look down there. Oh yeah. really? So you were? Like, I didn't hear it. Yeah. 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 Well, you were probably tuning into the EVPs. Things with Amy. Yeah. He's got his ears all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got it all everywhere, hasn't he? Hello. Can you hear my voice? <laughs> anybody in this aircraft with us now? Any pilots? Any crew? That used to operate this aeroplane? If you are here, could you please knock on the frame of this aeroplane? Make a big bang if possible. If there's a lady here, please can you tap or can you make a noise? Hello? Hello? Can you hear it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is this a lady I'm talking to? If it's a lady, please can you tap twice? Yes. Okay. Are you connected to the are you connected to the train? Are you connected to this land? Yes. Well, three, four, yeah. Connected to the land. Okay. Were you imprisoned here? One no. Does that mean no? Give me one tap for no. Okay, no. So you weren't imprisoned here. Did you work here? One tap for no. Did you work here? That's coming from here. Is it? Or is it? Did you live here? Did you live here? I don't understand it. So you've got a lady here who's connected to the land, but she didn't she didn't work here. She didn't she wasn't imprisoned here. Maybe she um I wonder if anyone died here on a visit. I mean, you got to remember, pe people people have been dying all over the place, haven't they? Yeah. So somebody could have come here and died, yeah. I guess. 
Please come and talk to us. Communicate with us in some way if possible. This could be the calm before the storm. I want, I want something to happen, you know? I want, yeah. I want things to <laughs> What would on. convince you, Glenn? Uh, I don't, it's not convincing a need as such, it's, it's finding out the cause of it. I don't deny that events happen and things take place, it's just getting to the actual root of it, really. Mm -hmm. I you know. Like, there's a cold breeze in here. Oh, the window is open. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a knock, but that could have been anybody's foot just moving gently. Or, of course. And sound travels across solid objects quite well, especially on, in the metal. Mm. Um, so, you know, you can't just assume that anything you hear is... No. It's when it gets interactive, you know, you could ask a question, ask for two knocks, and you get two knocks, mm. and it's, it, you know, why is that happening? Yeah. Were you buried here? But is, 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 this, is this you who people keep seeing? Yeah, it is. And you're dressed in Victorian clothing, yes? One. One, no. Just to let you know, as you're asking questions, it's actually on the oscilloscope here. It's actually peaking up. It looks like there's actual answers coming through. It would be great to look back at those, won't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Hello, can you say your name for me, please? Tell me your name. What was that? It was Michael Edward Ritchie, but I could be wrong. That's what I initially thought. Tapping, tapping, mm. tapping. Did you say Richard? Let's see, let's see. The lady that we were talking to, the lady that's making the tapping noises, is she here? Can you tell me your name? I heard that. That was a. Review this record. Review this record. Review this record. Can you see Carl walking? Come on, tell me your name. Tell us your name. What's freaking me out there? It just is. It just. I'm going really, really cold, and it's every time we ask him. Oh, you're. That was a cold breath right on the back of my neck. And it's, came, it's coming from over there. There's something. Whenever we turn our backs to it, they don't. It doesn't like us turning our backs. Come on then. Did you shout your name? If there's someone here, tell us your name. I can smell perfume. Is it just me? Oh, no, can you I smell can. it? Yeah, I can. Carl, let's see what it smells. I it's a faint, but it's, I'm sure it's there. Yeah. Or is it just oh, me? crumbs, no, that's yeah, there. That's expensive perfume too. Reminds me of an old one, like Leo of the Valley or something like that. It's, but it's, it's, it's got more to it than that. It's more of a delicate, isn't it? It's that. Hello, are you here? This lady, we're really pleased to meet. That was loud. Oh, oh my gosh, it's really loud tapping, Eamon. Wow, it's coming from this seat. Sit in the seat, Donna, sit in the seat. Hello? Hello? No, it's moved. It's moved to behind you. That's the, no, that's that seat there. Did you respond yes. to the seat? Oh my gosh, it's so loud. 
What do you think, Fred? I don't know. I'm hearing and feeling and seeing everything that I've had is. Really, really strong. That was really strong, and the tapping is clearly something here with us. According to the tapping, it's a lady, but according to the EVP, it's it's a guy as well. And there's a female voice coming through. It, it, do you know? It really freaked me out. It, 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 I've not heard it as, as uh, for the first time ever. It, it, I really felt that that we were talking, or they were really. Every time we asked for something, Some they were response, weren't they? And really, really, it's really active. Um, I mean, the male voice on the EVPs was active, and what I noticed was when you were asking if there was a female on the carriage, you could actually hear, it sounded like a female was trying to break through, but you couldn't quite make out what she was saying, but there's like a female tone to the voice because it quickly changed from a deep male to this light female voice, right. but it, it sounded like it was difficult for her to come through because this male voice was quite still sort of booming on the speakers but I think when we review it yeah we, we'll be able to see that. Clarify it but why is there a very strong male presence here? What is his connection? No one's reported seeing anything here. Yeah. There's only a female so I'm intrigued to find out who this this male is. You've got to remember also you, you know, a lot of the people who've been here have been you know other ghost groups and they just may not have been at the, the same time as this male entity has, yeah, has yeah. been here so just because someone's not seen him doesn't mean he's not here yeah i and mean we haven't seen him but then we haven't seen the female yet the other thing is it could be this strong male voice could be an entity that's throughout the whole of the building or just coming through the ether and he's not connected to the building at all it might could not be specifically be something that's in the carriage it could be something that's just come over yeah so it, again it's you know, I'm quite open with that. Yeah, yeah. To be honest. But that's the thing, as you were saying earlier, Fred, that it could be, it, it, it's the area. I mean, don't forget, we've got hundreds of, of, of years of, yeah. of, of, of history. We've got 500 yeah. years of history here, going back to Henry VIII. Uh, you've got the Napoleonic Wars. Uh, you've got it, you've got everything going yeah. on here, so it could be anything. Yeah. We've just got to try and find out what. Time to swap. I was hopeful that Stuart, Darren and Glenn would encounter more of the phenomena we had just experienced. Now it was our turn on the massive cargo plane and we were hopeful that we would see at least one of the spirits that is said to haunt. Hello? Hello there! What was that? What was that? I can't even touch that. What did you hear? It was like a, just a, a tapping sound, a click of something dropping or... you earlier on. Do you remember me? Wow. That's in his nose. Although the back was the back of the plane, isn't it? Hello there, how are you? That's where we used to drop the people out on parachutes out the back. Yeah, that noise. That's, that's coming from the top. Can you get off? Yeah. Let's, go up the, let's go up the stairs, shall we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it, I love it, I love it so much. Oh, do you still hear it? It's still going. Is it? Keep going. Oh, I haven't got a torch here, so. Yeah. Absolutely icy cold. Is that noticeably just dropped that way, or is it. Like, I don't know. I walk down here and I, I don't like this end of the train too much. Okay, let's try down here for a while. It is, isn't it? It's really cold down here. Um, oh yeah, it's, it says, at yeah, top, no, it's really cold. The door's yeah. open. Yeah, but this end is totally sealed. Is there um, coats in here or something? It's like... I can't, I can't feel a draft. There's no, there's no draft, there's no... There isn't any draft. It doesn't even feel cold with my hands, it's just this weird... Window. Sort of... Well, In, inside cold sort of. Windows dropped from 6 Celsius to 5.1 now. Yeah? 
There is definitely something trying to draw the energy out of the air here. Draw the heat out. 4.7. Just be careful. Mind your head. Can you see, Carl? Yeah, sorry, mate. I've got a. I'm like, I've got the. You can't get in there, look. It's inside there. Hello? There was some tapping then. Hello? That was not as bad as now. I was just about to absolutely poo my pants because I couldn't oh, work out what that was. Yeah. I've really jumped out, aren't I? Hello? Of course, it's great telly. Look at the back of your head. Sorry. <laughs> Hello there? <laughs> This is the wire, is it, that they would have held on to when they were jumping out? Yeah. Hello, if you can hear my voice, can you tap again? Did you used to pilot this plane? You did? Two for yes, one for no. Did you pilot the plane? Did you pilot the plane? No. No. Did you fly in the plane? Yes. Was that a yes? Yes. yes. Two. So you flew in the plane. Do you have happy memories of this plane? Yes. Oh. Coming from... 4.4, 4.3, 4 4.2, I'm targeting the window. Wow. 4, Four. Celsius. Three point right, it's dropping. Why is it dropping? That's just 3.8 now? Yes. 3.7, 3.5. Something is dragging the, the, the energy the, yeah. out of this place. Thank you, come on. Talk to us then. If you've got all this energy, move something, tap something, throw that, something at that, us. That's getting to the point where it's freezing. Yeah. Well, not just yet, but it's getting there. Uh, we're like three Celsius nine. now. That's amazing. 2.7? That is a short space of time, isn't it? It is. Were you in your 30s? Were you in your 40s? Yeah. Yeah, there's something there. Yeah, 40s. The knocks are weird because they're, they're, they're coming from different areas. It's hard to locate. It is hard yeah. to locate. But they're different strengths. Yeah, they yeah. are. Some Almost really like it's different people. You see, it was stronger downstairs to what it is up yeah, here. Yeah, I thought it was up here and clearly it's not. No, I think it was up. It sounds like more like it would have been downstairs. It was like honest. that back bit downstairs that opened up. So let through, let through what? Down. What? There's no one else in here, is there? That just sounded like somebody was coming up the stairs. Hello? Is anyone down there? Listen. There's somebody down there. There's got to be somebody down there. Be careful. Just hold on to yeah, that yeah. thing and let me get down. Be careful, be careful. Got it? Yeah. Hello? There's no one down there. It was up the far end anyway. It was, it was further up here. No, it was the, the knocks were the other end, but I heard something up here, like somebody was in there. Obviously, any of these guys. Can you make a noise with your voice, please? <gasps> that was 
caught the army. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I'm just turning around. Hello. That's loud. So it's louder down here. Yeah. Maybe the acoustics are. Yeah. Down there, doesn't no, it? Great, yeah. Great. That the, the back of this opens wide up like that, wide open. Oh, yeah. I'm hearing it from over there. No, it's behind you. I... It's as clear as anything. Maybe it's acoustics. No, it's not. It's there. See, I mean, did you hear that? That was over there. Then. What was that? I thought it was one of you. Like a rustling sound. No, it's, it's far down. I'd... So that was me moving then. But if you just listen down there. There's nothing blowing in the wind, is there? Because that's that's a lot. It's not really. It's not. not no, really it's so not. So no. From really, what, that what before it was about six Celsius. It yeah, be cut a minute ago. Six point five or well, something the, like the, that. When we started on the window up there, it was eight, and that's just so. So three windows up where we were sat, facing exactly the same direction, that was eight, and we're now on two point three. Yeah. Two point two, and that is accurate. Yeah, yeah it it's is. just measuring the temperature in the exact same spot. 2.1? 2? If you can show... What? If you, what? Right, if you can show where I'm pointing the laser at, um, Stuart. What wow. the... What was that? What that, was that? That was a big knock on the roof. Is that, is that what you've been building your energy up for? Thank you very much for that. OK, and it's starting to get warmer again. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Stuart, look, look at this. Here. It's bouncing up. Right, it's just gone back down. Can we have another knock, please? It's as if it drained all the energy, did a knock, and then it it let it go. Thank you for oh, that knock. Crap, look at it. I'm, I'm getting chills. This is brilliant. That's freezing cold. Not quite, but it's getting there. It is getting there. One. Okay. I it needs it, to get to zero yeah, point zero. To zero. This is drained from eight degrees. <laughs> yeah. Come on, no then. way! Let's see it get down to freezing point. It's not freezing outside, is it? No, it's not. By no. any, it's it's manageable to walk around. Right, it's, it's going to get to the point oh, where. Come on, come on. Let's, you you yeah. could freeze water yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We're now well, we're now on to the minus stage yeah. now of frozen. And it's at zero. Right. Do you know what I need to do? Yeah. I need to go outside. Yeah. In real time. Yeah. Um, and just measure the air temperature on the other side of that window. Yep, yeah, sure, go on. Yeah, there. Okay. I'll follow you, Stuart. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I just realised I have to stay here on my own now. Yeah, well. You'll be fine. We'll be right next to you outside. <laughs> do you mean us harm to VS1 for now? Are you happy? Are you a man, gentleman? Oh. My camera broken. <laughs> Are you a gentleman? What was that? Who's that? It was. Hello? Are you here? Show yourself to us if you can. Come and introduce yourself to us. My name's Yvette. My name's Carl. My name's Eamon. And I'm Fred. And we're very pleased to meet you and we're glad that you're happy. I hope you don't mind us being here. There was a random knock then. Yeah, I heard that.
Is that your weight? I'm, I'm not moving at all. Oh, 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 what was that? that was Let's go down the other end. Yeah. You can't go down. Let's go down this way, sweetie. Get it, get it ends there. With Glenn exhausting all possibilities for the temperature drop phenomena, the outside proved considerably higher than the carriage. As every paranormal investigator and scientist knows, a drop of more than two degrees in a short space of time is considered highly significant, and in this case, completely unexplained. With still so much more to investigate underneath our feet, I decided to do one last room, and who better to take with me but my hobby. It's just two of us yeah. going into, well, they've got a display of a dentist's bit in here. Okay. It's, it's horrible. Oh. I went there earlier to do some GVs and uh, it is a, yeah, it's a weird place. Has done been already? Is that not just, is that not just us? Sometimes whether this tapping just falls us right off the sake of it. Oh, not like that. Oh, creepy. Oof. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> what's the matter? Where are you? Where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Where are you? What's the matter? Fuck. What's the matter? Oh, what's the matter? Darling, what's the matter? What's the matter? <laughs> Just whispered in my ear. Oh, are you okay? You've hurt yourself. Yeah, You've hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like you okay? touched my head and then I heard something whisper. Oh, I've just hurt my arm as well. Oh, come here, sweetie, sweetie. <laughs> sweetie. Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Come here. You okay? Yeah, turn it off now. Ow. Although the experience shook me to the core and left me a little bruised, I knew I had to continue and to places that were terrifying. Below ground was not a prospect any of us relished. This place was alarming. You never knew when something was going to happen, and when it did, you'd never forget it. Well, it's been really active, actually. What was that? No, it's moved. It's moved behind you. Can you introduce yourself? They're absolutely icy cold. There is definitely something trying to draw the Four energy out of the air here. Did anyone hear anything? 4.4, 4.3, 4.2, I'm targeting the window. I wonder if anyone died here on a visit. 3.5? Something is dragging the, the, the energy the, yeah. out of this place. And it's at zero. Oh, Tell me your name. Oh, do you know, I've just got really cold. Yeah, just, me too, my just, legs. Yeah, my legs. Yeah, yeah. Got really, really cold. Just yeah. a blast of cold air coming. Mm. Oh, that's freaking me out. That's freaking me out. Loud, that's really freaking me out. I can smell perfume. Every time we ask him, oh, you all right? Cold breath right in the back of my head then. Do not like this room one bit. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> What's the matter? Where are you? Where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Where are you? What's the matter? Fuck. What's the matter? Oh, what's the matter? Darling, what's the matter? What's the matter? Somebody just whispered in my ear. Oh, are you okay? You've hurt yourself. Yeah, You've hurt yourself. Yeah. I touched okay? my head and then I heard something whisper. Oh, I've just hurt my arm as well. Oh, come here, sweetie, sweetie. <laughs> sweetie. Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Come here. Are you okay? Yeah, turn it off now. We all knew we had to continue and to go to places none of us wanted to go. Beneath the ground was next to be investigated. None of us had any idea what was in store. Were we brave enough? Yeah. Oh. I've got this horrible feeling something's going to happen. I've got a really bad feeling about it. 
Whoa. 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 Crying out loud. I didn't want to come down here in the first place. I really didn't. I am so freaked out. What the? Okay, I'm really freaked out. The switch had actually turned itself off. Hey! Coming in this, so I want to call it up. Oh, you're on your own, pal. I'm off. I don't like it. I'm off. I gave it legs and ran. I, I want to cry. Uh. Didn't like it. Until next time, sleep tight. Leave a message as you go. Find the moment.